this challenge is to beat Chris Mack at Bondi Long and if I can beat Tough Monkey's world record so can I do it? don't know um, Chris was world champion in X30 I'm a bit worried about being able to do it because Chris is lightning on this track and has done really well okay so if I achieve this um, I'll let you in on the secret of the setup. Um, let's see how we do. Okay, here we go. Decent start, not brilliant, but we're ahead. Come on, can we get through the first corner? Oh, it's not great, but I didn't really have much option there, not tied to the apex. Oh, a bit wide there, but a decent exit. Again, tight on that apex is good. Wide here, but it gives you a good line through this last, but I've gone a bit wide there too, but it carried the speed. That was 112, I hit there. 96 and seven, okay, that's all right. Let's see if we can do this. Oh, I'm not sure about the line, I'm not sure about the line. Oh, I hit the barrier, oh. Okay, there's a bump on the exit here. This won't be good enough, it can't be. Yeah, bad there. Um, and through here, that's nice and neat. Decent exit, kept the revs up. Hit 120 if we can. There we are, 120. Through here, wide again. Didn't hit the apex. That's much better through there. So you can get a fast line through here. Again, not great. Close enough to the apex there. Here you got to try and carry the speed. It's a bit tighter here, that's a bit better. Oh, I've gone wound slightly but carried the speed. 116, 117 through that was much faster. Neat, I've gone slightly over there. It's the borderline that. Um, oh, that's not good. And then I hit the bump. Oh, it's cost me. It cost me really badly. Okay, we're not going to do it. I'm not going to do it this time around, but still, let's see what we can get. That's a 103 for the first lap. If it's a 57.1, it's reasonable. I think you want to be in the 56s if you can. Okay, just keeping an eye on the tyre. Oh, I've lost the back. I've lost the back. I'm not looking after the tyres properly, I don't think. And a bit of bad driving, too. But again, it's this, this sequence of corners here, I think we can make up most time. Okay, reasonable, 115, but good exit. So you can carry the speed through here, exiting at about 96. Oh, that's tidier, yeah. better exit, I'll hit the bump. And through here. So this should be, wow, we might be close. <laughs> okay, this is doable. We're one hundredth of a second slow to beat Chris. Okay, we're not nowhere near the record, but one hundredth of a second slow to beat Chris. And he said he was slow, so it's probably fair. Yeah. Okay, all right, we can go for it now. Okay, let's just talk a little bit about some of the changes that, um, that I'm going to make. I'm just going to check the, the, the radiator. We did quite well out of that, but maybe the tyres too. Um, I'm going to look at the medium Leconte to see if we can go with that. As you can see here from where we're standing, it's pretty close. But I'm just going to change the tyres for the next run. I just think maybe that will give us the grip. So let's have a look at that. I'm going to be quiet for this run to try and concentrate if I can.
Okay then, here's confirmation, uh, 255, 452, um, personal best, obviously, um, I'm really surprised it was that quick, because I, I made some mistakes, there we are, confirmation telling everyone else that I did it, um, that's cool, screenshot, confirmation from Patty, thank you very much, um, I suppose we should go and have a look at where this is on the all-time list. So let's go and see what the, who the nearest player is at the moment. Somebody's going to beat this in soon um, as they get better. But, um, yeah, look at that. Uh, uh, Craig's second Tough Monkey. Uh, but he did have the Zanardi 2017 and not the Rosberg, so that would explain it. But, um, but it's just over a second slower. Um, yeah. But two seconds faster than Chris, roughly 1.8. So there we are, uh, did it, um, really tough with that. If you want to know the secret, um, all right, well, let's talk about that. Okay, so the secret of what I did is super simple. Check your tires, make sure you've got the tires that are correct for the setup. In this case, it was 18 degrees in Bondi. It was quite warm. Um, the softs work, uh, but the mediums are pretty good too. Um, so I recommend trying those on the Leconte. I didn't use the stocks. Um, rad, I changed rad. Um, I can't remember exactly which rad I used, um, but I swapped the rad to suit the temperature. So that's the critical bit here, is change the rad to suit the temperature, and then I adjust the radiator blind to get the optimum performance. Um, that's really where I think the gains were made in those two areas. It was just simply on the uh, tires and on the um, and on the radiator. Uh, I had the Firebird exhaust on, um, and the the other thing is the seat settings. Um, I run the car slightly forward, so it's it's a Rosberg B. It's zero zero two um, and sixteen on the seat height, which. Chris, I know, doesn't run 16 on the seat height. He runs it lower than that, I think, at 15. Um, he'll be able to tell you otherwise. Um, but anyway, that to me is the, is, the, is the critical bit. I like a bit more grip. I'm not as quick as Chris normally, so I'm not very good when the back end's too loose, and especially when running through those um, sweeping down under the bridge. It's really difficult to get the, the performance um, and get the car to stick. Um, so for me, it's more stable doing that, and particularly over the bumps at the end of the 180. That, to me, is where you can make quite a lot of gains if you can get that right. And it's obviously very difficult coming onto the main straight as well because you've got that uphill S shape, um, and that's challenging. So they're, they're, to me, they're the, they're the corners you've got to get right. Under the bridge, that final 180, there's a bump there, you need to be super careful as you see on one of the laps, I got thrown out slightly there. Um, and then the bump's coming up onto the final straight. The more speed you can carry there, the better. So running the seat slightly higher in Gordon Light, I think works better. Um, I sometimes run out of 15 on other tracks that are a bit smoother. Uh, Marienburg's a, a good one to run slightly lower because it's got so, such sweeping fast corners. Um, anyway. That's my setup. Um, hope that's useful. 
and um, we'll see you in the next video. Oh, don't forget to like, comment, subscribe. Please share your setups as well. If you're quick, please share your setups for everyone else to, to, to know. Um, but yes, uh, like, comment, subscribe, and I'll see you in the next video.